did there, they did the skinning and they designed the uh, bar. And in such a case, you get a file by mail in which the, uh, the, the scanning or the, uh, not the scanning, the, the manufacturer lab sent you uh, the way they think uh, the bar should be um, uh, made later on. That's probably the same as if you sent it to uh, France uh, with your technical. Yeah. Is, it, is it okay to ask questions? No. Yeah, sure. Okay, if you if you get back, sir, to the uh, photo of the implants in place. Yeah. The yeah, one before. Right. Yes, yeah. the, the, there are maybe fluids exposed, aren't they? Here on this implant. You don't you put a uh, bone uh, graft on a membrane or something, or you just leave it like that? No, no, no. You. This is the, the your flap. No, I see the flap. No, uh, part of the labial fluids of the implants are exposed. They're not all inside the bone. No, this is a, a tissue level implant. So I, I uh, let me now uh, right, go back right and then. Tissue level with, with healing cap. Yeah. Not for magic implants. Here, this is uh, an implant. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. I get your point. Yeah. This needs to be outside of the bone. So you, this is the thickness usually where you have your uh, mucosa. Okay. Oh, here. Well, the uh, design approval, and now the production can start. Uh, it's still milled and uh, impressive machines. And there it comes from the machine. Uh, the dental technician has to uh, uh, adjust the, um, the, the denture to the bar, and you can put it in the mouth. So, uh, instead of the previous study, if you look carefully, you could see, still see the stitches. Since we do it after one week, uh, most of the stitches could be taken out already. Now, if you look at it, clinically, no problems, uh, uneventful in, uh, healing. Radiologically, also no bone loss uh, visible. And so far, we did 10 uh, patients, no implants was lost. No adverse uh, reactions and um, no later adjustments for the dentures needed. So it's kind of like if you er install your implant right after surgery, the gum adheres uh, to the uh, 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 suprastructure. Good. In the future, we'll do also in the Aesthetica in, uh, study uh, more uh, evaluation. Uh, but so far, this active of one week uh, protocol works. If you install two Aesthetica implants at a certain amount of stability and uh, make an over uh, denture on a bar on it. Um, well, so this is about uh, dentures using uh, to speed up the regular protocol. But you can use dentures in different modes. Um, as well, it's uh, as I showed you already. Uh, you can uh, use it as a uh, uh, implant reference uh, for for uh, how to know where you put your implants in. Uh, it's also if you make it more uh, pushing to the drills, you can say it's really a drill guide, not only a reference guide but also a drill guide. You can use it as an impression tray, tree, uh, tray as you show, as you showed in the slides. Um, you can use it as a wound dressing um, device. And if you add a soft tissue uh, reliner after your surgery, it helps the, to stop the bleeding. Um, and you can make a temporary removable denture of um, the, the denture it was uh, in previous. You can also make a temporary breach of your denture. Well, maybe there are more um, possibilities uh, or uh, options which you can what you can do with a denture uh, with respect to your implant uh, therapy. Let me show you a few possibilities which I uh, told 
And uh, first of all, I start with uh, using um, your own, your old uh, denture as a temporary lower bridge. Well, we installed four implants, uh, had them uh, uh, closed. And um, all these implants also, you always have to, if you think about immediate loading of implants, you have to install your implants with a certain amount of stability. I come back to that in, in the end slide as well. Um, now, first, we have installed them, we have added the um, healing uh, copings, and are going to use the denture as an impression frame, as I showed you uh, before. But to be precise in your location of the implant, we first will uh, add booty <coughs> to the denture, put it over the uh, implants, and now you know exact where the implants are. And to make an impression uh, tray of your denture for an open uh, impression technique, you have to uh, put dr uh, holes in it, as I show here. Oh. Yeah, now again, and now you have the open uh, tray. We close it again with a little bit of wax, uh, uh, otherwise, you would have uh, had your um, uh, rubber uh, impression material gone through these holes. Um, and this is the way you fit the impression coatings are on the implants. Uh, impression material is uh, added. Go over. The implants, and again, as I showed you in the other slides, that the patient heat the uh, bite again, that you are immediately in the right biting position. It's uh, the, the rubber goes everywhere, so that's always the problem. But you see, eventually, you have a nice impression, and the dental lab work can start. Um, you make a model, combine the Copings, now the implant copings, you can use shorter ones with a uh, wire. Take out the teeth from the denture, so take away all the, all the pink stuff. And add the new pink ones. So in this respect, change the denture now to a kind of bridge. <coughs> can you understand uh, the this, this, this method how it works? Maybe here so. And instead of a loose denture, now we have immediately attached a kind of bridge, transformed denture into a bridge. And in this method, we can immediately load the implants with a very low priced uh, superstructure. Now, we, uh, it was quite a success. So, if patients are uh, short on money, you can offer it uh, as a resolution for fixed um, implant uh, superstructures. So, this guy came in with a uh, upper denture, was fully fed up with it, and we did the same. Put in the implants, impression copings, holes in the, in the denture, Impression and transformed the denture into a bridge. Huh? We even took this, he liked to have a gold teeth in his denture, we kept it in. And even the dirty parts, he wouldn't mind at all. So, quite natural if, for a patient to have uh, this treatment done in this way. So, it's uh, implant tissue support bridge. It's no, it's only implants. Implant support. Yeah, you have to clean in between, huh? in between the uh, implants. So it's used as uh, temporary before making the final fix administration. Yeah, this, after this you could uh, start over. And this guy, as I told, as I showed you in the previous slide, he had his definite um, Brennemark uh, bridge in the lower um, or for for I think 15 years. And now he has this kind of temporary bridge in the upper. I did this in, in 2006. And he comes now and then for a regular checkup. And I said, we need to change this, this 
temporary uh, bridge into a definite one. Oh, so no, I'm happy, I'm happy. And uh, he saves quite a lot of money by sticking to this uh, temporary bridge. And it works fine, it works great. So, uh, actually, it's a new treatment mode as well. Um, but of course, we want to extend um, this treatment mode. And since the uh, only expensive part is, is maybe the surgery, the, the superstructure part is, is well within reach of many, many people. So this guy is 92, comes in, and oh, now I'm completely gone. Let's see. Robert. 